from a fallout shelter in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Really? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. I don't know why they call it a cough button. You wouldn't believe some of the things I do when I'm pressing that button. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you right now. It can have a whole other name. Tell you. <laughs> Like occasionally when I say something that I know I shouldn't say on the air. So rather than get bleeped, I just hold the button down and say it anyway. So the guys in the studio are getting a much better show than you're getting. I just want you to know. <laughs> For example, when I ask if... Uh, if, uh... And then the guys get to hear me say that. They'd love me to say that on the air, but I just can't. Are you sure that thing's working? I think it's working. Am I only supposed to use it when I cough? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the kind of thing we're talking about here. Every once in a while, I use it for some other purpose. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. Hey, um, <laughs> they asked me, why don't you do the show from home? It's because I need to be here with the guys. Seriously speaking. Jesus. Anyway, I have a question for you. You're doing your Christmas shopping right now, and... Um, I, I have to ask this question. What is the... And, and by the way, I've received many of them and have used them and appreciated having them, but it's just hitting me now. What is the purpose of a gift card? If you think about it. I mean, here's how a gift card works. I don't know if you've been paying attention. but But a gift card... You might pay 50 bucks or 25 bucks or 100 bucks or more to give somebody a gift card for a particular store. It could be any store. Many stores now are in the gift card business. And by the way, just so you understand who's saying this, okay, I am Mr. Capitalism. Mr. Corporate, Mr. I love to make lots of money, and I like seeing companies making lots of money, so I'm not one of those anti-corporate guys. I'm not even one of those guys who's anti-corporate Christmas. I hope everybody, whether they advertise on the Tom Likas show or not, rings in a lot of business during this holiday season. So don't misunderstand where I'm coming from. Spend, spend, spend. I think it's great. But when you get right down to it, a gift card is simply cash. And so all you've done is you've done, you were standing in a particular store one day and you saw gift cards and you realized that you needed to get somebody a gift and you really didn't want to spend the time picking something out that they probably wouldn't like anyway. So... Rather than shoving a $100 bill into somebody's hand or $25 into their hand or whatever, you, you shove a gift card into their hand. Now, here's the deal. Why do the stores love gift cards? Number one, because you're giving them an interest-free loan. 
when you buy a gift card at the store, um, that money sits in the till or it uh, probably is invested somewhere earning interest or but yet it's invested somewhere else earning uh, you know capital gains until you decide to use it, which could be, you know, first of all, if you're buying it a few weeks before Christmas, they get it to keep the money for that amount of time. And then Christmas Day, you probably are not going to the store. Maybe you'll go in the week after or maybe the month after. Sometimes I find gift cards six months after I got them just because I was trying to put them somewhere for safekeeping and they ended up with other things I was keeping for safekeeping. It's like finding a $100 bill or a $50 bill. It's amazing. But the bottom line is that uh, what you're really saying to the person is this. Either of the following. I don't know you, but I felt obligated to give you something. Or you're saying, I know you, but I don't particularly know anything about you. Or you're saying, I like you, but not enough to actually put any thought into getting you anything you'd really like. Okay? And, and, and while we're on the subject of why the stores love these cards, what many people are not aware of is not all of them, but many of these gift cards charge a monthly fee. Every month they're not used. So your $50 gift card can be worth $48 in a month, and then $46, and then $44 every month. Every month you don't use them. Many of them decline in value. So not only do they have your money earning interest, but they then continue to take out a percentage of it every month until it goes down to zero. Many of those gift cards you find lying around your house are worthless. So I'm just wondering what kind of people you give gift cards to. Like, uh, example, it's somebody you really care about. You give them a $100 gift card for Nordstrom. Uh, what are you saying to that person? You know what? You're just not worth my time. <laughs> you know what? Going to the store and trying to figure out what you like, impossible. I don't know what you like. You probably wouldn't like what I get you. This whole thing is bothering me. Here, Merry Christmas. Take a gift card. That's what you're saying. I mean, the thing is, I really never thought about this before. You know, get it's a gift card. It's a gift. You know what they say, don't lick a gift horse in the mouth. But when you think about it, the person giving you the gift card is telling you that they either don't know you and they feel obligated to give you something, or they do know you and you're not worth their time. Another possibility is you're saying, I give you so little consideration, I didn't realize until it was too late that I had to get you something. So here, Merry Christmas. Take this gift card. I mean, uh, it, 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 it pretty much, to me, as I'm thinking about it, if, you, if, if all you're going to do is get somebody a gift card, why don't you just give them best wishes or send them, just send them a Christmas card? Why send them something with a cash value? And by the way, how often do you send somebody a gift card for a store they don't shop at? Right? Like if somebody gave me a gift card for Banana Republic, that would force me to go to Banana Republic, something I don't want to do. As an example, how many people get a gift card from Borders but they like shopping at Barnes & Noble? Right? Think about this. So actually what you're doing is you're saying, you know what? <laughs> I like shopping at Nordstrom now. You like shopping at Nordstrom. <laughs> how many times do people give you a gift card for something? Think about this. They give you a gift card for something, it's like $100, but nothing in the store is under $200. Have you ever gotten a gift like that? Right? You go to the store and the gift card is nothing more than like a half-off coupon. <laughs> it's like one of those Bed Bath & Beyond 20% coupons you get in the mail every other day. By the way, do you get those Bed Bath & Beyond coupons every other day? I got them every other day, 20% off. I don't know how this company saves in business. I get a 20% off coupon literally now every other day. 
Did they just decrease the prices by 20%? I, I don't get it. But yeah, many gift cards are not enough to buy anything worth having at a store anyway. I mean, if you ever given someone... By the way, those of you guys who are obligated <laughs> to buy your girl a gift, I mean, you just... I'll, I tell you, don't do it. But if you feel obligated, does Tiffany sell like a $50 gift card or a $25 gift card? <laughs> Yeah, see if you can buy one of those little blue boxes and put it in there. Merry Christmas, honey. Go ahead, Tiffany's. Buy yourself something. <laughs> That's what you do. I hate the gift buying season. I absolutely hate it. I just hate it. I mean, I love Christmas carols and I love a Christmas tree and I love Christmas lights. Uh, and I'm um, I'm cool with a good Christmas party like that. But buying these gifts for people, and then again, you see the thing is, I, I I've never, I don't think I've ever given a gift card, maybe once or twice. And when I did it, it was usually because I was with somebody else, and they did it. Like they said, oh, <laughs> this is all I had time to get. Generally, I like to give a gift. And by the way, if I'm going to give a gift of a gift card, I'd rather just give people cash. Let them spend it the way they want. I mean, if you think about it, instead of giving somebody a gift card for a bookstore they may or may not shop at, why don't you just give them cash and let them decide? Yeah, Borders. I don't like going to Borders, not Barnes & Noble. Screw you. It's just silliness. Sometimes I don't know how to react when I get these. You know, you look at them. Sometimes they're 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 down and dirty. They're good. They're something good that you can use that you use every day. I mean, honestly, the one thing I've really enjoyed over the years when I've gotten gift cards for like, it could be stores I shop at all the time, like a supermarket, or uh, it could be uh, a store that people know I like to go to. But it's still you're giving me cash. Oh wait, uh, the operator on the phone out there just uh, called Tiffany's. And it confirmed, you go to Tiffany's, you can get a $25 gift card at Tiffany's. That's how you show you care, boys. Get your girl a $25 gift card at Tiffany's. That's a gift card I can wholeheartedly recommend. When she takes it in there, it won't be enough to buy anything. <laughs> but then you don't have to buy her anything at Tiffany's. You, you show you were thinking about it. Honey, I went to Tiffany and I got you this. Go ahead. Live it up. Maybe your girl's too stupid to know there's nothing for $25 sold at Tiffany. <laughs> She'll think she's going on a big shopping spree. I love it. All right. Anyway, let's talk about these gift cards. All right. I would like to talk about them. Do you think these are a good idea? I mean, isn't it better to just put cash in somebody's hand? I mean, how much thing is putting cash in someone's hand appears that you put in no effort, but really is going to uh, Best Buy and getting a gift card that much more effort than handing somebody a hundred dollars? Seriously. Tom Likas, one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Nice smack on the ass, so good. The Tom, Tom Likas like show. show. The Tom Likas Show. Here's a story recently from Salt Lake City's Deseret Morning News about gift cards. It says here, retailers say gift cards are this season's hottest gift choice. But beware of the fine print. About a third of the cards are offered that are offered most widely have catches... That could easily drain their value before recipients fully use them. And they call it a cough button. I don't think the name was adequate. Still, it says here, gift cards are much improved from past years. New laws and more rigorous enforcement have led most prominent national retailers to get rid of expiration dates and little notice maintenance fees on their cards, but some still persist. 
The Deseret Morning News recently closely examined fine print on 41 gift cards. It shows brands often offered at local grocery or retail check stands. Those offered by major retailers for their own stores, online sites for major retailers, and some popular bank-issued gift cards. Twelve of the 41, or 30 percent in terms of the fine print, that could drain the value of a card if a recipient is not careful. Or it could cost the buyer more than the face value of the card, a fact they may not realize until they check out. It says here, such problems may be costing consumers billions nationally. The Tower Group, a financial industry research firm, estimated last year that customers lose $8 billion a year to unredeemed value, expiration, or loss of gift cards. That's more than double the annual losses from debit and credit card fraud in America, which is only $3.5 billion. Even so, the National Retail Federation reports gift cards are this year's most popular gift choice. The Federation says 88% of shoppers plan to buy two or more gift cards this season with a typical consumer spending $123 on them. Overall, the group projects gift card sales to total $26.3 billion nationally over this holiday season. The most common and potentially costly problem with cards they found locally in Salt Lake City is what they call maintenance or dormancy fees found on 11 cards examined by the Deseret Morning News. These are supermarkets they're talking about now. Gift cards for both Harmon's and Smith's Food and Drug. I saw that in Arizona when I was there. I have terms saying that if the cards are not used for 12 months, as I was telling you earlier, a fee of $2 a month is charged retroactively back to the first month of dormancy, which could be before you had the card. Like, Merry Christmas, I bought you this card a month ago. You're already $2 in the hole. And uh, that will continue until the card is used or no balance is left on it. In other words, it says here, if the card isn't used for a year, they slap on a $48 fee and continue charging $2 a month until the card's value is drained or the card is finally used. For cards issued in amounts of $50 or less, the fee could swallow all their value if recipients hold on to them too long without using them. Examples of other similar fees include a Pizza Hut card. Pizza Hut is everywhere. That said $1 a month in dormancy fees is charged after 12 months of non-use. A Toys R Us card that said a $2 a month dormancy fee is charged after 24 months. Kohl's card charges $1.50 a month after 24 months. It says here that at one time, Olive Garden and Red Lobster, and we all know that they are the peak of quality. Uh, yes, they charge maintenance fees. There are controversies here in the story about whether they've rescinded the fees. It says here, Darden reached a settlement with the Federal Trade Commission earlier this year after the FTC, that's the Federal Trade Commission, charged that it had engaged in deceptive practices for not adequately disclosing dormancy fees. So Darden Restaurants, the owner of Olive Garden and Red Lobster, agreed to restore fees in a deducted from cards and to disclose fees and expiration dates of future gift card sales. This year, the FTC also reached a similar settlement with Kmart for such practices. Says here, maintenance fees are especially common with bank issued gift cards, which are good at almost any store. These are cards like uh, with names like Visa, American Express, and Discover. This is not a small deal. This is a big deal. Says here, the morning news looked at five such bank gift cards that all had maintenance or dormancy fees. The most expensive was something called the All Access Visa card. Sold to many grocery and retail stores. The card carries a four ninety five a month maintenance fee, beginning six months after the purchase of the card. 
Other bank-issued gift cards with maintenance or dormancy fees included the U.S. Bank Visa gift card, the Discover gift card, the Wells Fargo Visa gift card, and the American Express gift card. The Montgomery County, Maryland Office of Consumer Affairs, which issues an annual report card on gift cards. And by the way, they're charging $2 a month for that now. And which the FTC has said helped lead to action against garden restaurants and Kmart. Looked at 20 bank-issued cards this year. All 20 of them had maintenance fees. So when you give somebody a $50 gift certificate, it might be worth $48 or $42 or $39 or nothing by the time they use it. Did you know that? Probably not. <laughs> oh, boy. It says here bank-issued cards also tend to have a variety of other potential pitfalls. All bank gift cards examined had expiration dates listed. Some American Express gift cards sold in local stores expired as soon as next year. And expiration dates could vary by months or years among the cards hanging together on racks. However, the American Express website says the company will issue free replacements for cards whose expiration date has passed. But if voters want to check for the unused amount, that'll cost them 10 bucks. It's great. says here the Discover gift card can be replaced for $5 after expiration if requested within 90 days of the expiration date. The Wells Fargo Visa gift card expires but can be replaced for seven fifty, or a check for the remaining amount can be issued for only $15. That's nice. Among wheat, I'm buying some Wells Fargo stock tomorrow. That's a genius. Among retailer-issued cards, which unlike bank cards can usually be used only at one store, the morning use found only one with an expiration date, Macy's. Macy's cards expire two years after the last time the value was added to a card. Says here that expiration dates and maintenance fees were common on most retailer cards just a few years ago, but that Montgomery County, Maryland annual report card credits their increasing disappearance to recent enforcement by the Federal Trade Commission against Darden and Kmart and tougher state laws. Eighteen states have sought outright bans against expiration dates, but not Utah. I don't know what it is in California, by the way. Says here the National Retail Foundation said, according to a recent survey, it conducted 92% of the nation's top retailers now have no expiration dates or dormancy fees on their gift cards. But the group still recommends that consumers read and understand terms of cards before buying them. Another problem that may surprise some consumers are purchase or activation fees. Virtually no retailer-issued cards have them, but all the bank-issued gift cards examined do have such fees, which range from three ninety-five to six ninety-five on top of the face value of the card. So you buy somebody a fifty-dollar gift card, and they have to pay a three ninety-five to six ninety-five activation fee. So that fifty-dollar gift card can be worth forty-four dollars, even if you used it the day after Christmas. Holy cow! Why not just give people cash, for Christ's sake? Unbelievable. All right, let's go to your calls here. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Connie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I'm calling regarding the gift cards. Um, I do cash and I do gift cards. Part of the reason why I do gift cards is due to past experiences, like if my husband got a um, cash from one of his coworkers or bosses, he turns around and ends up spending the money on on his personal bills or on gas. So by buying them a gift card, it kind of forces them to buy something personal for themselves. Yeah, but, but why do you need to force people? Maybe he needed money for gas. Well, yeah, but there's always something that somebody wants, but they don't... They don't want to buy it, and if somebody gave them a gift card, they would they would then buy it because they don't want to spend that much. But money in many cases, stuff. the gift card is not enough to buy the item you want. Uh, it depends who you get the gift card from, I guess. Well, and, and you know, I mean, what, you send somebody to the Apple Store with a fifty dollars gift card. What are they going to buy? A pair of headphones? I mean, please. No, they could buy two twenty five dollar cards for iTunes and go home and up download their songs. I, you know what? I could buy that stuff online a lot more easily if you gave me cash. 
That's true. And the, well, the other reason why, is to, why too, is some of the gift cards. Well, I'll tell not- you. Uh, let me tell you something. As uh, anyone who's planning on giving me a gift card, let me just let you know this, okay? I don't like going to the store. I do most of my shopping online, and using gift cards online is virtually impossible. For some sites, yes. Yes. So what you're doing is now you're telling me I have to drive down to the mall to spend your gift card. Tell you what, I'll take cash. (laughs) Give me the cash. But a lot of the gift cards they have, like if what if it gets lost or stolen, they'll replace it. If you carry cash in your purse, many of these charge you fees to replace them. Not uh, not all of them. That's not. But do you know? Do you know which ones are which? I do because I buy them a, a, a lot for as company gifts. So we use the ones that don't charge, and we read into the expiration dates and things like that. Oh, well, look, I, I understand companies giving out gift cards, but why would individuals do this? You know, I, what if your mother gave you a gift card? I mean, come on. Then I could go to the mall and buy anything I want. You could do that with cash. True, true. But I just think, you know, if a cash is in your purse and your purse gets lost or stolen. Oh, come on. You you could have a gift card in your purse that could get lost or stolen. You could have cash in your purse that could get lost or stolen. But then all I would need to do is call my mom and say, hey, my purse got stolen. She calls them. They stop it and reactivate a new one. How often does your purse get stolen? Never. That's my point. Come on. Buying a gift card so that the gift won't get lost. I'm more worried about my driver's license getting lost or stolen. Well, I, I, I know buying gift cards takes a lot of time and effort. You have to wait. Well, you see, what you've and... done is instead of you going to the mall and spending time picking something out for me, mm-hmm. now you put the onus on me. Now I have to go to the goddamn mall, which I didn't want to go to in the first place. Well, I don't. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you have all the... you. Normally, everybody goes... I'm letting everybody know in advance, don't give me a gift. Tell you what, just hand me the cash. That saves you a trip to the store, and it saves me a trip to the store. Just put cash in my hand. And if it's only $10, I won't be offended. Give whatever you can afford. That will be gladly accepted. Just okay. press a bill into my hand. That's why I do it both ways. I know who likes gift cards, and I know who likes cash. And and why why would any what, by the way why would a recipient prefer a gift card? Because they want, like I said, there's something that they always wanted, but they don't want to spend the money. But what if you that. shop at different stores than I do? Let me give you an example. Let's say I wanted a toaster oven. Okay, so you decide that I'd like to get it over there at Sur La Table or Bed Bath and Beyond, but in reality, I shop at Costco. Now, I have to buy it for much more money, and I have to buy it at a store I don't shop at. True. I guess it just depends on the person. I'm more I'm more practical, and I wouldn't go to one of those high-end places to do gift cards like that. And I don't pick one store unless I know the person, like, super well, and that's why. Well, I, I mean, would- to me, it just has to be a store everybody goes to. I like if you want like tell you Target, what like Walmart well or Ralph's or Ralph's? Trader Joe's or yeah you know exactly. just yeah, yeah, but by the way that's the same as giving me cash but like I isn't said, it cash, it is but people put cash in their wallets and they're saying okay I'm not going to I'm going to go It's it's just as much cash. a gift if it's cash isn't it It is but I think people people use it for more like bills and things like that. Maybe they, I know we'll, I know we'll help them out, but what are you going to say? Hey, oh, I wish the DWP had cards? gift cards. I'll tell you what, I wish uh, the gas company had gift cards. Yeah, that's an excellent idea. I agree with you. DWP, right. Department of Water and Power, if you don't live in the city of Los Angeles. Yes, I do, and I know. <laughs> yes. Okay, Tom, well, thank you. Happy holidays. Connie, thank you. <laughs> Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. I am proud to say I have four toilets in my house, mm-hmm. and not one of them has a, has a cover on the lid. Because I'm a man. I'm a real man with big brass balls. The Tom Likas Show. That's our telephone number. We're talking about gift cards. 
let's say hello here to Tracy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? This is Tracy. Uh, hey, I want to uh, call you and talk to you about this thing that's really bugging me lately. Uh, I went to uh, 31 Flavors to get my kids some ice cream, and uh, first of all, they're, like, they're shakes are about $8 a tea, so they're overpriced as it was. was I used my debit card. They charged me $0.89 cent fee on top of the price. So uh, instead of getting that stuff, I just walked out because I, I can't believe all these charges they just put on top of you. I thought the debit card was supposed to be so, just like that Visa commercial. Wait, 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 you use a gift card or a debit card? No, just a debit card. Oh, I don't, I don't use debit cards ever. What? But by the way, pal, when, when for for a milkshake, why don't you pay cash or use a credit card for that? Oh, I do. I actually, but you know what? Those fees are like they they write the print so small you can't see the fee. And by the time I get to the window, forget looking at no, forget looking at the fine print. You shouldn't use debit cards unless it's an emergency. Right, but isn't that supposed to be like the debit card's supposed to be? So I don't have to. Bring out my cash and slow it down. And they're charging you a fee for that service. Right. I want to slow it down. I'd rather to blow up my cards and everyone go back to cash so we can keep that money instead of them. Well, but by the way, you can you can turn it around. You use the credit card, and you don't have to pay interest on that money for up to 45 days. Yeah. Oh, it's and there's no fees. I mean, well, why wouldn't you use a credit card? Even when I go to Tommy's to get a burger, they go yeah. to me 69 Use a credit card. I mean, do you not have the willpower to pay your credit card off at the end of the month? Well, you know, I just, you know, I like to be convenient and not put my cash in my pocket, but uh, it sure is making me. But crazy. why couldn't you? You're not answering my question. Yes. Why couldn't you use yes. a credit card? I could use a credit card, I guess. But why don't you? Charges too, aren't they? What? They have finance charges on that. Only if you don't pay them at the end of the month. Right. Because why Why couldn't you use the credit card, then when the bill comes in, pay the whole balance every month? Right. You're tr that's right. Then you would pay no fees, no finance charges, nothing. Yeah. Wouldn't that make sense? It would, Tom. So why don't you do that? I think I'm going to do that. But I'm still mad because it's supposed to be convenient. It's a credit card is convenient. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start paying everybody in a hundred dollar bills and make them charge, give them change in one, and slow it all down. Well, I mean, why don't you just use a credit card and and be done with it? Because I don't want to use my credit cards. I've trained myself not to use my credit cards because. I why can't you train yourself to pay the bill every month in full? Well, I can train myself now that I'm older, but. Now that I'm older, I've trained myself not to use them, and now I'm not in trouble with them anymore. Well, and by the way, if you use uh, some of these cards, like your uh, My American Express card has membership rewards points. Yeah. I took a trip to Tuscany last year. I didn't pay for the trip for the plane ticket. I used points. Yeah. What's in your wallet? It, well, <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? I, I totally see what you're saying. Well, Tom, I just wanted to let you know that uh, they're they just, pay me. For you know, by the way, do you know Costco? Has a free American Express card, if you're a member? Yeah. Free. Well, uh, you said it's going to cost me a quarter to get about a... a two Hell, it's only if you don't choose to educate... It's only if you don't choose to educate yourself. Stupid people pay fees. Smart people don't. Well, that's a lot of food going back cold, or going back into the trash, because I ain't going to do it anymore. And It's a new trend. It's going up everywhere. It, it didn't used to be like that. You used to go and use your debit card, and most places don't charge you, but now all of a sudden... All these places are coming up with these fees. And, uh, you know, you buy a candy bar. You, can you know why fees. they come up with fees? Because they get charged fees. The bank charges them a fee for this convenience. Yeah. So they pass it on to you. Tom, I remember when I first saw my first check in By the way, I'd rather... $7.50, and they had to file all those papers. They didn't even have to put them in a computer. I just don't understand how we. I'd rather they charge price. the fees to you than than build it into the price of the ice cream, so that all of us have to pay your fees. Yeah, you're right, Tom. Hey, one other thing, Tom. I just want to let you know. Uh, the one thing that women need to understand is uh, why men treat them badly when they're fat. Is it, it's their own fault because when they get fat, they stop uh, taking care of their man. 
when they get big, they get all insecure, and uh, that's just the worst thing to do. When you when you cut off your man and you if get a little weight in you and you cut off your man, you're done. You might as well get even hornier when you get fatter because uh, you definitely get more unattractive. So you better do something to, before you can pick it up. Or right, exactly. <laughs> Whatever. One eight. Uh, where was he going there? One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Fran in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat. You're on the Tom Likas hey, show. Hello. How are you doing? Great. Hey, listen. I am going to be given some gift cards this year, and I have put some thought into it, and I think they're pretty good gifts. Um, my brother-in-law, who is dirt poor, has three kids. They never get to do anything or go out. So for them, I'm getting them um, movie tickets, um, uh, Red Robin, and Cold Stone ice cream so that they can go out and have an evening out. Maybe they need to pay their bills. Well, it, they, well they, they can pay their bills. They just don't have any money for any of the extras. So it's just kind of fun to do something for somebody so that the whole family can go out and have an evening out. And if if I gave the dad cash, he could spend it on other things that I want the kids to get something out of it, too. I mean, for example, I could give my housekeeper a gift card. Uh-huh. But I know she needs money. Yeah, well, uh, these guys are okay. They just don't have... I mean, imagine going to your housekeeper and say, here you go, here's a gift card for Lexus for $500. You can take that to your Lexus dealer. Why would you do that? I'm saying, here's a $25 gift card for Tiffany. I'm... No, but what I'm saying is they can be practical and useful. And and people can use them and get something out I mean, of I just, them. The people I know who need money, I'd rather give them money. Well, they, I mean, they can pay their bills. Why can't they go and, you know, they don't have money for the extras. Well, They're if you give out. them money, they can decide what extras they'd like to buy. Well, yeah, but, you know, I could give them a teddy bear or something that, that you know, wouldn't go very far for them either, but I think it's more fun for the, them to get to do something together. Uh, and by the way, when, and I'm, this is just me. Okay. When I give tickets to something, uh -huh. I go. Well, they live in a different town. I travel. Okay. Okay. Well, I gave my brother baseball tickets the last two years for his birthday. I flew to New York. I got a cheap plane ticket. I flew to New York and I went to the ball game with him. Okay, well, that's fun. That is, that'd be yeah, fun. But isn't that better than just saying, here, here's two tickets to a Met game. Have a fun, have a fun day. You don't think Let me know how it went. Had it anyway. You don't think he would have said, hey, this is great. I can take a friend. It's not as good. Well, <laughs> he, he got to take his brother. Well, okay, that's good, too. Okay, let me give you one more example of a gift card that I think, let me see what you'll say with this one. My niece and nephew in Minnesota are getting snowshoes for Christmas. I wanted to give them snow pole, uh, ski poles to go with it. Well, to ship them, that's kind of a hassle. Instead, I'm giving them REI cards so they can go pick out the ones they want. Maybe they don't shop at REI. They do. I know that because that's, my, my, that's where my sister told me to get them. And who knows what kind of fees those cards charge. I don't even know. Maybe they don't. No idea. I have no idea. The Tom Likas Show.